Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial video where I'll be demonstrating how to acquire the virtual memory um, also known as a swap file or also known as the page file dot uh, sys which is the page file dot system file um, so in this tutorial what we're going to be using we're going to be using two tools one is the access data FTK imager and you can go on to file go to capture memory and here you could select a destination where you want to output the the capture as well as um, the destination file name you could change this or leave it to default and then to include the page file the system page file you can have you have to tick this box okay and click on capture memory so depending on how large the your uh, physical memory is and as well as the page file this might take a while okay so I've already done this and dumped it into um, a directory here what I call memory dump and I've got it called my pc.mem as my physical memory of the of this uh, Windows 10 machine as well as the page file which is also being done now you can see the sizes of both files there is another way using access uh, FTK imager to actually acquire this if you click on file you can click on add all attack devices and you can see in the evidence tree I've got all the physical drives and if I am just giving a minute so, uh, so a few seconds to load up and then I should be able to access the logical C drive and have access to this page file if it exists and also if this uh, laptop I'm using has been um, in hibernation mode the hyperfill.system file as well should also be created and can be accessed this way so if I go onto C drive go onto Windows um, it's going to take a while to scan through the master file table, so I'll give it a couple of seconds to do that. So once that's completed, we should have all the. Um, the directories files and folders and hidden files and folders as well appear which are actually under the, um, the logical C drive so once that's complete I'll go into the root directory of the um, C drive and then you can see I have all the folders the program files directories all listed here if I scroll down I should find the page file the sys file and also the swap file the sys file so I can right click on this and just export both these files and present them for analysis so this is a different way to actually acquire the um, swap file or the page file that system file as well so I'm just gonna close this for now because I've already acquired the file and then I'm going to be using a different tool which I would provide a link to the trial version on um, in, in, you can find yeah, I'm going to put a link to it in this video so um, I'm just going to right click on here and run as administrator so this might take a while before it loads up and once it loads up I'll be able to then select the page file and then analyze it to see if there are any artifacts or data or remnants of data that could be used or you know in an investigation so just to see exactly what what kind of artifacts we can recover from there okay so the Berkersoft Evidence Center trial version has loaded up. Okay, so um, just click on OK. And you can see I've got a case. This is one of the cases I've actually analyzed before because it does take a while to, for it to actually carve out files um, actually recovered from this. But in order to do this from start, just go to New Case, click on New Case, create an. Uh, uh, create and open a case and from there if you go on to so you could do a disk image you could 
can try to cover data from drives, mobile image, depending on what. But what we're doing concern here is the RAM image, which we've already taken. And this is the PACES file. So you can then go in here and select your file. So if you go into all files, my PACES file can then appear. I can then click on it, open. And once I click on next, I can then select, you know, um, what kind of files or data I want recovered or searched from the file. So because I've already done this before, I wouldn't go into the nitty gritty, but that's how to do it and just click on finish and let the, the tool do its job. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back to the dashboard and have a look at the, the initial case. So this is the result after a while and it's found 11 files, 12 URLs and 47 pictures in total. So if I double click on this, I should get um, details of this CAV data. So here is found um, some URLs which have actually visited Yahoo Blackboard in terms of what, and also some data from the database which could be then um, analyzed for 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 further, um, which could then be used for further analysis. I also found 47 pictures, which were the ones actually contained in the virtual memory. So this is just the you know a simple demonstration of how to use the tools, these tools in order to acquire or conduct an investigation based on um, an image of the uh, virtual memory acquired. So I hope that was helpful.